Hello there. So it is bring back my bar time. I wanted to go ahead and smell all these awesome ones with you. I did do like a sneak peek and there are quite a few that I am in love with. So I'm going to pull these out. Usually I have my little helper, but he seems to be distracted today. So if If you're on here, comment, let me know. Um, I'm gonna pull up the scents on what they smell like so we can talk about it. Of course, my computer's gonna go slow. Okay. So I can't tell who's watching. It's telling me one person, so I don't know who you are. Collections, bring back my bar. Okay, so let's start. You know what? Let's go down. Let's go down the line. So a wink and a smile. We're just going to go alphabetical. How about that? So a wink and a smile, I think, is an orange or one. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, so the description. Oh, it's cool. Me. hello 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 the description of this one is the flirty girly fresh scent of tulips and daffodils in full bloom rounded out with plummy lemonade plummy plumy plummy p-l-u-m-m-y it um is definitely girly and flirty and fresh and i smell tulips and daffodils <laughs> Kind of smells like a lotion I've used before. I like it. Yep, I will be adding that one to my Scentsy Club for sure. Whew. That was that was that was pleasant. A very nice way to start. Very nice way. Okay, so Amber Hollow is the next one. You think you have that one? <laughs> do you? Okay. What what scents do you typically like, Courtney? I know that. Um, I have the NFL on the way to you. You should be getting it soon. So do you typically go toward like the men scents? I'm curious. Um, okay, so Amber Hollow is clove leaf, cardamom, and dark amber spiced up with a warm cedar wood base. Yeah, wow. The clove is very strong. Um, it smells like... If you took some clove and went into the forest. <laughs> I personally don't think I like this one. Amber Hollow. Yeah, I'm going to go with not a big fan of this one. Cooper needs to be in here telling me what he thinks about these. Cooper! Let me see if he'll come. He's playing a video game. Okay, the next one on the list. Apple S'mores. Apple s'mores. This one. Sometimes boy, but I do. Oh, magnolia. Fresh floral. So um, I've learned something. We moved into a, a new house um, this summer. It was a brand new house. So like no weird smells from other people. And I've noticed that in my personal bathroom and the bathroom I share with my husband, um, I really like floral scents. And then everywhere around the house, otherwise I like different ones. But in the bathroom, it's got to be floral scents. So I don't know if I'm weird that way. I wonder if that's normal. Because typically don't people put lavender in their bathrooms, but I don't like lavender. Okay, apple s'mores. So harvest apples, cinnamon glaze, and a drop of coconut milk lend a tantalizing twist to <laughs> classic toasted marshmallow vanilla cream and warm cedar wood. So it's definitely smoky. And I get a hint of apple. But it's not, it's not like overpowering. Um, this is not my favorite apple scent that we have. So I'm going to put it in, a, I'm going to put it in the middle. I have three stacks going so far. I like, maybe, and absolutely not. Okay. All right, let's move on. Cooper didn't come. Where is my kid? Okay. 
So Black Current Bubbly is the next one. I think it's down here. Yep, Black Current Bubbly. So your burner is at school with middle schoolers, so the boy has to be strong. <laughs> I get it. No wonder you want to smell NFL and NHL, because maybe that those are the scents that'll scare that boy smell away. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so black currant bubbly is champagne bubbles, stir black currant, sweet orange, and sh vanilla sugar. And this is very nice. <laughs> I like this one a lot. It's kind of perfumey, but it's sweet. Um, it's reminding me of something from my childhood, but I don't know what. Like, it's taking me back to being a kid. <sighs> yeah, I like that one a lot. That's definitely a yes. Uh, I can't really describe it, though. Um, the vanilla sugar is the strongest piece of the scent for me. Um, I don't smell the oranges at all. So I don't know if that helps you with if you'd like it or not. Mmm. Yeah. I, yep. I think I'm a fan of that one. Okay. Next up, Cashmere Pear. So when I saw that this was on the list, I was a little worried. Because if you remember, the last Bring Back My Bar collection had Cashmere. The scent Cashmere in it. And, um... I have tried to give away that bar and people don't want it. So it's, it's not good. When you smell it, it kind of smells like a used diaper. I don't know how it came back in the bring back my bar. People voted for that scent. Um, so I was a little nervous about this one being that the name is similar, but cashmere pear. So it's, it's not a dirty diaper at all. I was pleasantly surprised. So it's slip into sensual white amber, Madagascar vanilla, silky pear, and warm red ginger, a blend as smooth and luxurious as fine spun cashmere. See, so this is, um, this is what I would imagine cashmere to smell like. Like, I don't know what that other scent is, but this is, it's very nice. It's a little perfumey, kind of like, it's almost like um, one of my friends would wear this scent. It kind of reminds me of her, but she I don't know that she's ever worn it. Um, it's not super sweet. It's not warm. It's just, I don't know, it's just pleasant. It's very feminine. Kind of like... Fresh sheets in the springtime, but without like the spring flavor. I don't know if that makes any sense. So that, I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. In the maybe pile. Okay. So let me go back. Central Park Pralines. It's over here somewhere. Central Park Pralines. maybe there it is is hiding okay so this one is a decadent confection of rich toasted pecans buttery caramel and cinnamon sugar it's delicious it smells like roasted pecans like when you walk by the roasted pecan a uh, little like push cart thing that's what it smells like um but I'm getting like, oh, it's the caramel. I was going to say a little bit of chocolate, but it's not chocolate. It's caramel. It's like, it's caramelized sugar is kind of what it's. It's like pecans and butter and caramelized sugar. I imagine that when you warm this, it's really, really good. Like it would make you hungry. Okay, I'm going to put that in the yes. <laughs> the more yeses, the more money, right? Okay, cozy chai. Warm, spicy cinnamon, vanilla bean, and caramel. So simple. And that's exactly what it is. It's warm. Uh, it's settling in my throat. <laughs> Makes you want dessert. Yeah, throw some like whipped cream on there. Um, this, this cozy chai is like settling in my throat. But so did, oh, excuse me, so did the pumpkin chai from the Harvest Collection. Um, 
So I wonder if that's something to do with chai. And me, I'm a little weird with some scents. If they have a lot of cinnamon in them, um, my throat like starts to close a little bit. But I can eat cinnamon, which is totally weird. That just is the scent that messes with me. So this one is a maybe. Um, it smells like, it kind of smells like a diner. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to put that in the maybe. Um, <laughs> you're so funny. You're so funny. Oh my gosh. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put that in the maybe. So hopefully someone else will like it. Because it's good. It's, I just think it's not. It's not for me. So, okay. Cutie Pie Cupcake. This was one I was really excited about because I love bakery scents. So this one is sweet clementine and yellow cake batter with vanilla and sugary icing. Yes, ma'am. Oh my gosh, this one. So one of our co-CEOs, <laughs> I heard him describe the, um, the salted caramel toffee scent that we got in the brick. Um, he described it as lick the walls, delicious. This is lick the walls delicious. Like this smells like yellow cake batter with like icing that's like orange flavored. And it smells cool and fresh and um like it's <laughs> it's making me think of like a moist cake. Yeah. Ooh, that's definitely a yes, and that's definitely going in my Scentsy Club. Holy cow, that one is delicious. <laughs> See, I needed that that scent. So um, I don't know if you saw my other video really quick earlier, but I've had a really rough day, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to do my bring back my bar smelling with you guys tonight because hanging out in here and doing live videos always makes me have a little bit of a better day. And that scent right there just kind of like took all the bad that I've had today and um, I feel okay now. Like I might have to change my wax before I go to bed into that because it is so delicious. Okay, the next one, lavender and white balsam. So I just told you that I don't really like lavender. So let's see what I think of this. Um, lavender freshened by wintry white balsam and crisp amber. So I didn't like amber hollow. So let me see. This, um, I would do my laundry with this. I get the lavender, but it's not super strong. Um, and it's, it's a little cool. Like the, the wintry that it says in there, the wintry white balsam. Yeah, that would go in my maybe pile just because I don't really do the lavender. But, um, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Courtney, do you like lavender? Okay, next up, marshmallow mint. I can only imagine what this is going to be like. Oh, yes. <laughs> this kind of smells like, um, like the minty part of an Andes candy. So we have, what is it called? I don't remember what it's called. Oh, I'm just yawning again. The, the big bar. So marshmallow mint cocoa. No wonder it's similar. Um, it is that scent minus the chocolate. <laughs> you like lavender when you're trying to get your kids to bed. That is amazing. So this, I imagine, um, would be really nice, like on a cool wintry day. You put this in there. And um, because the, the mint in it is actually cleaning out my sinuses a little bit. It's pretty good. I'm gonna put that in the maybe as well. That's not a like lick the walls one. Oh my gosh. Okay, my mouth is watering from all of these smells. So the next one I personally love. It was in catalog. Um, my first catalog. So I've, I've been with Cincy a year and a half and this one was in the first catalog. So uh, yes, you could handle it. <laughs> um, my dear Watson. 
So if you like manly scents, Courtney, maybe you need some My Dear Watson in your in your uh, classroom. Mm, My Dear Watson. So refreshing bergamot contrasted with mint, cedar, and suede. Sophisticated and smart. So it smells like um, a men's body wash. Oh, see, you already you already know about My Dear Watson. So it is back for the month of December only. So if you like it, let's get some ordered for you. Mm, yeah, that's good. It smells like it smells like my husband's body wash. Even though it all of the men's scents, I'm like, oh, it smells like my husband. But y'all better understand that he smells so good. Maybe that's <laughs> maybe that's what it is. <laughs> Okay, what is up next? Wonder if his mom's gonna watch this video. Won't that be funny? Okay, painted leaves. Wander through blue spruce, red maple, and golden woods. Okay. The color's kind of fun, like a tree. So painted leaves. I feel like I've smelled this before. Like, it kind of smells like when you're in, um, when you're in, what do I want to say? Like, do you, you live in Kentucky, right? So do you have like an Ace Hardware store? This kind of reminds me of an Ace Hardware store. Like, where it kind of smells like tools, but yet they have like the candles and there's like, you know, gardening stuff. Like that's, <laughs> that's what it smells like. Okay, good. You understand what I'm saying? Good. Okay. So you said that you might need to order. Oh yes. The samples went out this morning, so they should be there soon. Whew. My nose is starting to feel a little funny. I think it was that mint on the, on the marshmallow mint. Okay, next up, Peppermint Dreams. I could tell you all about Peppermint Dreams. Peppermint Dreams was in... No, 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 no. I bought Peppermint Dreams before I was a consultant. And um, because I love all things peppermint. You guys probably figured that out by, by now. Because I talk about peppermint all the time. Um, but this one is a warm rush of chocolate cupcake cooled with a blast of fresh mint. And that's exactly what it is. Like, at first, you get the chocolate... And then you get blasted with the mint and it's like a cool, like it's almost like someone, like you're eating chocolate cake and someone goes with delicious minty cold breath is kind of what I'm feeling like with this. And I had a bar of it um, and I just used my personal bar up this week because I was like, it's back. So I'm gonna order a couple of these as well. I don't think I need it in my Scentsy Club because I don't think that I would melt this anytime other than in uh, like Christmas season, but mm, it's a good one. I'm gonna put that in the yes. That's a good one. I like that one a lot. Okay, Plum and White Woods. Plum and White Woods. Ooh. That was pleasantly surprising. So sweet raspberry preserves and damson plum weave through vanilla orchid. This is definitely one that I would put in my bathroom. It is, it's kind of sweet and kind of flowery, but kind of fruity as well. Yeah, that's gonna go in the yes pile. And I would, I would definitely put this one in my bathroom. I would probably also put it around the house too. It's very pleasant. I like that one a lot. I want to know what Cooper would think about all of these. Where is he? He's probably just like laying on his bed, playing his game. Okay, pumpkin marshmallow. So, sticky, <laughs> sticky sweet marshmallow spooned onto fresh baked pumpkin and wraps in a graham cracker crust. Yeah, that smells like pumpkin pie with a little bit of whipped cream on there. Oh, but at the end, the more I smell it, at the end I get marshmallow. So that, okay. That's good. I like that one. 
It wouldn't be a top choice, but I do like it. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. What is up next? I need to like reset my nose. Let me smell my own skin here. Did you know that that trick, Courtney? Like if your nose, if, you know, usually people are like, smell coffee beans. But no, coffee beans are actually just another scent that you're going to put in your nose. If you um, smell your skin or the crook of your elbow, it kind of resets your senses because you're smelling yourself. It's your natural smell. So it kind of resets it. Okay, what's this one? Quiet Grove. Quiet Grove. A soft spell of bergamot, jasmine, and sandalwood. So let's see what's going on here. And pleasantly surprised. <laughs> like, I feel like they didn't really get any wrong except for so far that Amber Hollow. This one is pretty good. Um, yeah, yeah, coffee beans. Um, I don't, yeah, that's what I always thought. And then um, something I learned with Cincy is just smell the crook of your elbow. I don't know how to describe this. It's kind of perfumey, but not female perfumey. I don't know. I don't know what to do with that scent. Like that's really, I don't know how to handle that. <laughs> Has that ever happened to you where you're like, what is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, let me pick the next one. Sweet Amber and Freesia. Just by the name, I bet I will want this one in my bathroom. Yes, perfect for my bathroom. Crisp layers of verbena blossom, freesia, and sweet amber. It's very flowery. It's very springtime. It's very, yeah, that's flowery and springtime is like the only way I know how to um, explain that. So we're going to put that in the yes pile because I really like it. And, oh, sweet plum pastry is up next. There's a lot of plum this time. Black plum and toasted coconut garnish a marshmallow cloud. A lot of marshmallow going on, too. Ooh, that is, like, they should make this, they should, like, make a bubble gum that's this scent. I, re <laughs> I really like this one. Or a pie. I would eat a pie that has this scent in it. Black plum and toasted coconut. Yeah. Courtney, you <laughs> if you like if you like um fruity ones, it's not like sweet fruity, but like warm fruity. I know quite a few ladies that would probably like this one. If um so there was a scent, it was part of the um Nightmare Before Christmas line, the Halloween Town. I'm being reminded of that. But it's not really the same. Just the plum part of it. Mm, that's going in the yes. I really like that one. Okay. You always like Bath and Body Works Freesia. Yeah. Yeah. See? Freesia's delicious. Okay. Vanilla Ode. Sweet vanilla ground by leather and earthy oud wood. Okay, so normally I don't like leather scents. And I'm not a big fan of like the woodsy ones. Like sheer leather. Um, any of the ones that smell like a cowboy. Or that you would think that would smell like a cowboy. I'm not a fan of. So let's see about this. So this um, reminds me of like a cologne. It's not very manly, but it's, it's powdery. Uh, it's kind of like a, a cologne, but not like a cowboy, but like, I don't, oh my gosh. I think I've been smelling them too long. I think I've lost my mind. I don't, I don't know what to do with that one either. So <laughs> I'm going to add the, add it to the, I don't know what to do pile. Like it's not gross. I would I would melt this, <laughs> but it wouldn't be my first choice. 
And I don't think I would love it. Like, it would just be like, oh, that smells good in my house. You know. Okay. <laughs> this is the last one. All right. Vanilla suede. So, again, I don't know if I'm going to like this one. Um, so, classic vanilla with a rich amber and hints of sandalwood and spice. A subtly masculine fragrance. Masculine fragrance. This smells like a man at church that put on too much cologne and you like get stuck to him or get stuck sitting next to him and you're like, oh, what's that smell? <laughs> but it's like him, but he like, because he freshly showered and put cologne on for church. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's going to go in the maybe pile. Again, like I would probably melt it in my house, but it wouldn't be like, a, oh my gosh, I have to love it. It is not lick the walls delicious. So there you have it. Okay, so I'm going to go back over my absolutely yeses, just in case you need to know what they are. <laughs> Sweet plum pastry. That one was so good. Yep. Oh, I got more pastry that time. Hmm. <laughs> thank you Courtney thank you um sweet amber and freesia yep definitely a bathroom scent for me um plum and white woods okay so that time when I smelled it it reminded me of like being um out with my friends I'm from Kansas oh you would get it you're from Kentucky so um like going to pasture parties <laughs> when you're in high school like, that's, it reminded me of that. Um, maybe a, something I've drank before might smell like that. I don't know. Um, peppermint Dreams. Mmm, chocolate, icy cool cake. I love it. Cutie Pie Cupcake was the Lick the Walls one. It's still Lick the Walls delicious. Oh, yes. I'm going to have to like go order this one after I stop the video. That one is like a absolutely, absolutely. Okay, Central Park Praline. That one was the, it's good. Um, Pretty, pretty nutty. Plum, Plum and White Woods is, <laughs> is the one that I described as a beverage when I was drinking in the pasture. <laughs> okay, um, Black Currant Bubbly. That one is pretty good. It's kind of between yes and maybe. Like, it's not it's not amazing. A wink and a smile. That one was yes, definitely. In my, um, in my bathroom. In, in my bathroom, yes. And then my dear Watson. But you already know about my dear Watson. <sighs> so good. Okay, there you have it. There's the whole collection. And it was so delicious. And... I feel so much better after just hanging out with you, Courtney. Thank you. So I hope you have a good night. Let me know if you need anything. Um, like I said, your sample should be on the way to you by now. Like I dropped it off. So, oh yes, plum and white wood and my dear Watson. Mm -hmm. Those two are definitely really good. So, so good. <laughs> okay, so I will... Um, I'll check in with you later. I think I'm going to go lay down in my bed, watch some Heart of Dixie, and just kind of decompress. <laughs> so I will see you again tomorrow on day five of our advent calendar. In case you didn't get the advent calendar. Oh, yay! Um, the advent calendar today was almond croissant so that one is delicious so you said that you have a mini warmer in your closet and you went and plugged it in oh my gosh that's amazing so what scent did you put in it tell me that real quick what kind of scents do you have melting in your house because right now I have the scent of the month arctic kiss um, which is kind of cool and sweet 
Um, I did it right before this video, so that's probably why you missed it. It was pretty short and very much not exciting because I was like, it's been a terrible day. <laughs> so yeah. Um, and then in the rest of the house, I mixed up the peppermint dreams and hug in a mug. So it's kind of like a chocolate coffee in the rest of the house. It's delicious. Except for in my bathroom. And in the bathroom, I have the purple one of the Be Happy collection. I don't remember what it's called. I have it right here so I can tell you what it's called. Um, showered in Flowers. This one I like a lot. Ooh, Jeweled Pomegranate. Mmm. Jeweled Pomegranate was, is one of my favorites lately. And um, I ordered a lot of it. So I'm very excited about that. So, okay, we need to get those scents to you immediately. I need to tell the, the mailman to go now so you can get to warm in the NFL, NHL, and I sent you a sample of the Arctic Kiss. <laughs> you don't hate it. That's good. <laughs> okay, well, you have a good night, and I will talk to you very soon.